Good day, everybody. This week, we're talking about leadership, and in particular, we're talking about genetic, hereditary traits that you're born with that people think translate into leaders are born and not made. It's the age-old discussion of nature versus nurture. Are you born great, or, are you to be, or do you become great? Often in these types of discussion, the answer isn't right or wrong, yes or no, doesn't necessarily mean that it's maybe either. So we'll talk about the first truism that we've learned about leadership. And that is that most people are born with a certain capacity. You're born with a capacity in life. If you're Michael Jordan, that capacity could be 6'8", 6'9", in terms of height. LeBron James is also quite a big person. Does well in basketball. Does well in basketball not because he's tall, like Michael Jordan, but he did have certain advantages, certain advantages that others don't have. And so, the first thing we have to realize is you have to have a capacity in order to do something. It's not just in basketball. If you want to be a doctor, you have to have capacity to learn complex pieces of information, whether it's definitions or whether it's articulate and intricate processes that you have to follow in order to do things, for instance, like surgeries. I have to have that mind that's able to deduce what's wrong with a person based on certain criteria, certain signs. And in order to do that, you have to have this kind of mental abilities. So those who aspire and achieve these great professions have a level of intellectual brilliance that maybe others don't have. We've talked about sports and we've talked about medicine. And those are two areas where you need certain skills. You certainly have to be born with a certain capacity. However, that's certainly not enough. Just because you're born 6'8 or 6'9 doesn't mean that you're going to be a professional basketball player. Certainly not of the like of a Michael Jordan or of a LeBron James or Kobe Bryant. It means that you have a potential, but then the second key that we want to learn is perfection. You have to perfect whatever talent you've been given. As we talk about leadership and whether leaders are born or made, we now know that leaders are born or people are born with a capacity. Whether they ever achieve that capacity is based on whether they perfect it, whether they spend their time, effort, money, in order to perfect whatever talent they have. And the hope or the dream that they may have may not also be the talent that they have. There's people that have always wanted to be a professional basketball player, but they certainly don't have the talent to do it. There's nothing to perfect. They may be quite short. I've always wanted to be a professional tennis player when I was younger. Of course, that never happened. But I never had that dexterity in order to be a world-class tennis player. No matter how many lessons I took or how much I practiced, I was never going to be at that level of tennis prominence. There was less of me to perfect, less talent, less ability, in fact, less capacity. But never forget when we talk about leadership and whether leaders are born or made, you start with the capacity and then you have to perfect that capacity. How do you perfect that capacity? How do you achieve your capacity? Well, first and foremost, hard work. We've learned that talent will get you in the top hundred that hard work will get you in the top 10, but it's guts that'll get you to the top. So even hard work isn't enough. You've gotta have guts to make it, that no matter what obstacle barrier is placed within your path, you will overcome it. And in fact, hard work and guts can get you just about anywhere in life, just about anywhere, as long as you have the capacity. I've always believed that you can be a success in life if you only work hard. The one barometer, the one aspect that if you're going to concentrate the most on, it's hard work. You may not be a success in what you want to be a success in, but you will almost always, in my opinion, be a success if you work hard. There's very few people who don't make something of themselves if they've spent their life through the vocation of hard work. So we've learned about capacity. We've learned about perfection. 
we learn that if you want to be a great leader, that you have to have a certain capacity, and then you have to work in order to perfect that capacity, in order to realize it. One other point that I think needs to be made, and that is that you'll always be given a, a reason why you're not a success. Nearly anyone you meet is going to be able to say, I'm not a success because of A, because of B, because of C. Whether it's my parents, whether I just had bad luck, whether somebody else had more than me, wasn't tall enough, wasn't rich enough, wasn't smart enough. We call it the wasn'ts. And here is a third characteristic about leadership that I think is quite important. The first being capacity, the, first, the second being perfection. And that is, those that have become great, along the way they've had a challenge, a barrier, some type of obstacle in their path. And they've chosen to either go around that obstacle or through that obstacle. They never give up and never give in. They've always had a dream, a vision, an ambition. And no matter, no matter the obstacle that presents itself, they will overcome that obstacle. And at some point, at some time, they will reach the intended land. And so, as leaders try to wrestle whether they're born or made, and the ones that don't become successful say, well, I just wasn't born that way. We now know that that's not necessarily true. Literature, studies, have all stated that those people who become the great leaders of their time in whatever discipline or field they have, do so because of certain characteristics. One of the most important is that the obstacle that presents himself is one that they overcome. And here's something else to remember. No one gets out of this life alive. No one gets out of this life drama-free or without something within their path that they wish they didn't have. We all have something. Those that become successful are those that do something with what they have. Whether it's a physical or mental disability, whether it's challenges from your parents or from your children or from the jobs, no matter what that is, you have to do something with what you have. At the end, be able to say, I may not have had everything, but what I had, I made the most of what I did. And that's something to be proud of. I did the best with what I could. I did something with what I had. You can't have it all. But you can have something, and that something may be more than many people have. Thank you, everybody, and enjoy the week.